and when you do great things in my name, in spite of this, the impact will last for generations. A little bit of suffering, right, on this side, you yeah. know. Like you don't know the impact you have on people. Mm -hmm. So you're telling me that I have the ability to heal. <laughs> difficult to imagine with my condition. Which so much of what's happening that you could begin to see in this first century reality mm -hmm. is that the kingdom of God is this great equalizer. Right. Whether you're a woman, yep. yes. whether you know you were a Roman soldier, whether you're mm -hmm. higher than mm -hmm. allegedly, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. better than, or you're right. a Pharisee, you're a religious person. It's like it's the kingdom's this great equalizer. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter your economic status. It doesn't matter your gender. Right. It doesn't, all these things that we think matter. Mm. It's like at the end of the day, right. they don't matter. We're right. all the same in mm. Messiah, it says in Galatians, yep. right? Yep. Jew nor Gentile, mm. male nor female, slave, we're even talking about slaves, yep. slave nor free. Yep. That doesn't mean that we're not male and female anymore. Right. That doesn't mean we're there aren't Jews anymore. People use that passage a lot of they times do. to say, therefore, we're, Jews aren't Jews anymore. And, right. But we still have male and female in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. So we still have Jew and Gentile in the kingdom. For sure. But in Messiah, mm -hmm. we all are saved the same way. It's, right. We're all equal yeah. status, no second class citizens exactly. in the kingdom of God. Mm. Do you want to be healed? Yes, of course, if, if that's possible. I think you've seen enough to know it's possible. Then why haven't you? Because I trust you. What? Little James. Precious little James, I need you to listen to me very carefully because what I'm going to say defines your whole life to this point mm. and will define the rest of your life. Do you understand? In the Father's will, I could heal you right now. And you'd have a good story to tell, yes? Yes, that you do miracles. And that's a good story. But there are already dozens who can tell that story. And there will be hundreds more, even thousands. But think of the story that you have, especially in this journey to come, if I don't heal you. You know, Paul says in Acts, or, you know, it's Luke via Paul or whatever, but... Yeah. Like it's through much suffering that mm -hmm. we enter into the kingdom, right? You know, and and I mean, even Yeshua was saying this to the, all the disciples, like mm -hmm. that you're going to suffer. Yeah, he doesn't say, "Oh, you know, once you start following me, mm -hmm. I'm going to make everything easy for you now, right? And you're not going to suffer." Yeah, it's like maybe I'll be the exception to the rule, you know. <laughs> right. He doesn't. He doesn't promise that. No, he doesn't. That's a that's right. a false gospel. It is. Actually, it is. So he actually says the opposite. Yeah. Through much suffering yeah. that we enter the kingdom. And then, you know, we all want to be like Yeshua. Mm -hmm. Well, what did he model? Right. He modeled suffering. Right. To know how to proclaim that you still praise God mm -hmm. in spite of this. To know how to focus on all that matters so much more than the body. To show people that you can be patient with your suffering here on earth because you know you'll spend eternity with no suffering. They're portraying these two, these two things side by side, yeah. right? Like healing, the kingdom breaking in, mm -hmm. and suffering and pain, right. tribulation, trial, whatever mm -hmm. you want to call it. And in all of it, there's the love of God. How many people do you think the Father and I trust this with? Mm -hmm. hmm? Not many. The others, they're so much more. So much more what? I don't know. Stronger? Better at this? 
James, I love you. But I don't want to hear that ever again. I know how easy it is to say the Song of David that I fearfully and wonderfully made. But it doesn't make this any easier. And in this group, it doesn't make me feel like any less of a burden. A burden? First of all, it is far easier to deal with your slow walking than it is to deal with Simon's temper. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> I don't know about that comment, but I don't think he would have compared. But I love that they're dealing with the wrestle of mm -hmm. not being healed. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, there are so many people that need to hear that part of the conversation, you know? For sure. So. Yeah. There's such a tension between being, you know, contending for your healing mm -hmm. and then being at peace with not being healed. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah, we recently at Kingdom Living, we had a guy by the name of Bob Sorge come and teach. And if you haven't heard of him, go check him out. Wonderful man of God. But he preaches with a vocal disability. And he can only speak for one hour a day and that with pain. And so he was teaching and he was exhorting us to, to, to praise the Lord, not even just through suffering, but even for suffering. Saying that some, so there are necessary sufferings. Messiah had mm -hmm. necessary sufferings. Yeah. And we have necessary sufferings. Right. And um, I don't know. I, I, I'm, Bob's Bob's one of those guys that can preach that message with, because right. he's contending for his own healing, right. and yet fully proclaiming that the Lord is good and holy in all mm -hmm. of it. Do you look impressive when you walk? Maybe not. But these are things the Father doesn't care about. Mm. You are going to do more for me than most people ever dream. Hmm. So many people need healing in order to believe in me. Or they need healing because their hearts are so sick. That doesn't apply to you. Hmm. And many are healed or not healed because the Father in heaven has a plan for them which may be a mystery. And we remember what Job said. The Lord gives and the Lord takes away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. When you pass from this earth and you meet your Father in heaven, where Isaiah promises you will leap like a deer, your reward will be great. So hold on a little longer. And when you discover yourself finding true strength because of your weakness, and when you do great things in my name, in spite of this, the impact will last for generations. Do you understand? Yes. like you healing others <laughs> oh what a sight I can't wait to hear your stories when you return mm. Shalom my son Shalom and James remember you will be healed It's only a matter of time. I feel like <sighs> I feel like that conversation at the end there was mm -hmm. like a conversation we all need to have with the Lord, <laughs> right? You know, to see that when we're weak, that He's strong. Mm -hmm. And to be able to see 
If we could only see the end, the acharit, the, the end of the story, if we could only see the impact of the lives that we've that we will have and have had, you know. I was just reading this book called Imagine Heaven, which I recommend. Mm-hmm. It's about all these near death um, encounters and they've done all this research of all these people that have died and Mm -hmm. come back and then they tell the story about going to heaven and encountering God and there's like parallels to their stories and Mm -hmm. one of the things that they talked about is seeing they were able to see the impact Mm -hmm. and the lives that that they touched yep it's good it's like what a day of rejoicing right for just yeah. a little bit of suffering right. on this side. You yep. know? Like you don't know the impact you have on people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just one kind word. And mm-hmm. Yeah. I was thinking about Colossians 3. If then you have been raised with Messiah, seek the things that are above where Messiah is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Messiah in God. Hmm. When Messiah, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. It's like what was happening in that conversation. He's like, hold on just a little bit longer. You will be healed, right? Mm -hmm. And so this, like living in light of his return, Mm -hmm. he will come. He will return. He will make all things new. Our life is hidden with him, and so we have to set our minds on things that are above. We have to fix our gaze upon him, not on the things that are happening or the suffering. It's like fix your gaze on him, Mm -hmm. and when he appears, it's going to be glorious, Mm -hmm. and it's going to be... It's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it. If you enjoyed our Messianic Reaction videos and you want to go deeper in your understanding of God and the Bible, you can take our upcoming course at Grafted You, an introduction to a biblical Messianic worldview. And we're offering you a special 20% discount right now. So if you want to find out more information and you want to register for the course, check out the link in the description below. If you want to go deeper in your understanding of God in the Bible, check out Grafted You down here to take our course. And if you want to see our full reaction to this episode, click down here. There's a bug flying around. Yeah, it's mm, right there. It's a fly. Got it. Hold on. What is that? Mr. Miyagi over there?